Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to online music class. Hey, I'm so glad to see you today. Say hello, and how are you? Say hello, and how are you? Say hello and get down and get down and get down. Say hello, and how are you? <laughs> How are you? I'm so glad you're here. So this year our hello greeting is pretty much exactly the same, only I do something different. I call you fifth graders now instead of fourth graders. Look at you. My goodness. Top of the Jackson grades. <laughs> All right, so um, I want to just have make sure that my new friends know how this greeting goes. And I sing, hello, fifth grade. And you sing, hello, Miss Davis. Let's try that. I do my part. You sing back, hello, Miss Davis. All right, my turn first. Hello, fifth grade. Good. And the next part is, how are you today? And I'd like you to sing, very well. Thank you. Try that. Very well. Thank you. I'll do it again. Very well. Thank you. Try it. Yeah, thank you is kind of fast there. So I'll do my part and you echo that last part. How are you today? Awesome. Let's do the whole thing. I'll start from the beginning. Hello, fifth grade. How are you today? Great! Okay, now sometimes you may not be very well, but when we're all together, we need to sing the same thing. So, you know, just might as well get used to it now. So when we get back together, we can do that. All right, then. I have another fun song. It goes like this. Up the ladder, down the ladder, one by one. A ladder, up the ladder, down the ladder, one by one. Do you remember that from last year? Maybe the year before. <laughs> All right, so um, if you are new to Jackson, I'll break it up into two parts. You're fifth graders, you don't have to have baby bites anymore. <laughs> Be my echo. Up the ladder, down the ladder, one by one. Up the ladder, down the ladder, one by one. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to do both of them together. Just be my echo. Up the ladder, down the ladder, one by one. A ladder, up the ladder, down the ladder, one by one. Ooh, did you notice there was something between those two? Remember what that was? Yeah, I sang a ladder in between. Listen to it again. Up the ladder, down the ladder, one by one. A ladder, up the ladder, down the ladder, one by one. When you put that ladder in, you don't get a chance to take a breath until the very end. Let's sing it together. And would you please just put a pat clap on there? Here we go. Up the ladder, down the ladder, one by one. A ladder, up the ladder, down the ladder, one by one. Very good. Now, if you want, you are fifth graders, okay? I want you to try this. Add a snap in there, okay? So you're going pat, clap, snap, clap, pat, clap, snap. One. Up the ladder, down the ladder, one by one. A ladder, up the ladder, down the ladder, one by one. All right, very good. Now, this is normally a name game. We'd be sitting in a circle, and we go one by one. So one person would say their name. They go, my name is blah, blah, blah. And we'd all say, her name is blah, 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 or his name if it was a boy. All right? And, uh, and then we'd sing the song again, and then we go two by two. And then we'd have two people go one after each other, three by three, until we got through the whole class. So, doesn't work so well like this, but I brought some friends. Okay, don't laugh at my friends. It's just kind of hard what I had. I didn't want to put a stapler and a, you know, tape up here. So I've got stuffed animals because they actually have names because they're beanie babies. So don't judge me. <laughs> These are all beanie babies my kids had when they were little and I still have them. 
So anyways, actually, if they watch this video, they might be like, hey, we want that back. <laughs> so this is Rory. So we're going to pretend Rory says, my name is Rory. Okay. And then you act, we're going to make him a him. So, because he does have a mane and that's a, a boy a lion. Okay. So um, we're going to say his name is Rory. Okay. And then this is Spunky. All right. So Spunky looks like a Cocker Spaniel. So we'll say his name is Spunky. And then I call this Mr. Bear. I like to use him for kindergarten and first grade and sometimes a little bit in second grade too. And uh, the funny thing about Mr. Bear is that his tail sounds like a maraca. <laughs> All right. And then moving on, we have early, I guess from the quote, um, the early bird gets the worm, I guess. So it's really a robin. Okay. But we're going to call her early. And then we have Pinky here, all right, Flamingo. That is Pinky. And then last but not least is the kangaroo whose name is Pouch. And that's because she has a pouch for her little Joey right there, all right? So that's who we've got helping us out today, sort of, all right? So let's go ahead and try it. And I want you to get your hands going. We're going to do one, then two, then three. Okay. Here we go, up the ladder, down the ladder, one by one, a ladder, up the ladder, down the ladder, one by one. My name is Rory, his name is Rory. Up the ladder, down the ladder, two by two, a ladder, up the ladder, down the ladder, two by two. My name is Spunky, his name is Spunky. My name's Mr. Bear. His name is Mr. Bear. Up the ladder, down the ladder, three by three. A ladder, up the ladder, down the ladder, three by three. My name is Robin. Her name is... My name is Early. Her name is Early. My name is Pinky. Her name is Pinky. My name is Pouch. Her name is Pouch. Up the ladder, down the ladder, zero by zero, a ladder, up the ladder, down the ladder, zero by zero. <laughs> I say zero at the end because we don't have anybody left. All right. I'd love for you to say your name, but we can't hear you to echo it back. So that doesn't work very well. All right. Good job. Let's see if you remember rhythms. Okay. It's been about five months. Uh, three months if you watch my videos, but some of you did not. So anyways, <laughs> this time you are. So that's great. So do you remember that we had these? Do you remember the nickname? Ta, right? Okay. And its real name is quarter note. Okay. Quarter note gets one beat, one sound. Ta. That's it. One beat, one sound. Okay. All right. Do you remember what these are called? Okay. We say TT -t because it's two sounds, one beat. So it's much faster than ta. And its real name, they are eighth notes or a pair of eighth notes. All right. So we have our TTs, pair of eighth notes, and ta. So let's go ahead and clap this rhythm. I want you to clap it on your hand like this two finger clap. Okay. So all through these videos, you really need to participate. It's not just you watching me. I need you to sing with me and clap or whatever we're doing. Okay, so let's try this. I want you to say and clap all the TTs and TAs. Ready, go. T, 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 TA, T, T, TA, TA. Let's do it again. T, 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 TA. T, T, ta, ta. All right, let's move on to the next one. Now we're going to add, ooh, this little squiggly line. Do you remember what it's called? It is a rest. This particular squiggly line is a quarter rest, okay? Here's a quarter rest, here's a quarter rest, because there are other types of rests. And the rest, quarter rest, only gets one beat of silence, all right? So to show the quarter rest, you're going to put your hands out to the side and just close your lips. Because if you say rest, now you're not being quiet or silent anymore, are you? So we just do this. All right? So let's clap this one. Say the ta's and titi's. But on the rest, I want you to do this. All right? 
Here we go. Ti-ti-ta, ti-ti-ta, ti-ti-ta. All right, will you do it by yourself? Ready, go. All right, let's move on. Okay, oh, do you remember what these are called? Half notes. Half notes get two beats of one sound, all right? And so this gets two beats, all right? That's why there's only two in this section here, because it's four beats per measure, and there's four beats, but each half note gets two of those beats. And remember, we go two, like that, two. So you clap on the first two, and you slide into that second beat, two. All right, so let's try it this one. Ready, go. Two, two, ta, ta, two. Okay, let's do it again. Two, two, ta, ta, two. By yourself. Ready, go. All right, let's move on. All right, so. In third grade, you also learned about four sounds, one beat. Do you remember what they're called? That's right here. We say ticka ticka. That's right, ticka ticka. That's four sounds, ticka ticka. And we say it fast, ticka ticka. And the real name, 16th notes, all right? These are a set of 16th notes, all right? And so we're going to go ahead and say this. There are only taws and one set of ticka tickas, and then that rests at the end. Okay, let's do this slow because the ticka tickas are really fast if we go too fast in front. Here we go. Ta, 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 ticka ticka, ta, ta, ta. Let's try it again. Ta, 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 ticka ticka, ta, ta, ta. All right, so let's do you do it by yourself. Ready, go. All right, and the ticka ticka. Sometimes if you go fast enough, it's really hard to do this. It feels very awkward. So a lot of times I just like you to pat the ticka ticka, ticka ticka, because you're alternating your hands. Ticka ticka. Okay. All right, last one. Oh my goodness, are you ready for this? Bam! <laughs> yes, there are four sets of ticka tickas, four sets of 16th notes, and then we've got a couple pairs of eighth notes and two quarter notes. Okay, so let's keep it slow. You're welcome to pat the whole thing. Just remember when you get the TTs, you slow down because they're half the speed. Ready, go. Ticka 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 t t t t ticka 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 ta ta again ticka 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 t t t t ticka 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 ta ta by yourself ready go okay if you struggle let's do it once much slower so it's Ticka, 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 T, 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 T. Ready, go. All right, good job. Let's sing a song that has that ticka, ticka in it. I think you remember it from last year. Do you remember Chicken on a Fence Post? Let's sing it. Chicken on a fence post can't dance Josie. Chicken on a fence post can't dance Josie. Chicken on a fence post can't dance Josie. Hello, Susan Brownie. Yo, will you pat the rhythm? Chicken on a fence post can't dance Josie. Chicken on a fence post can't dance Josie. Chicken on a fence post can't dance Josie. Hello, Susan Brownie. Yo, Whew. do you remember it? Dragon on a treetop. We'll breathe fire, dragon on a treetop. We'll breathe fire, dragon on a treetop. We'll breathe fire. Hope she doesn't burn us down. I think I changed the words on that. <laughs> Anyways, that was for our show last year. We used the song Chicken on a Fence Post, but we changed it to fit our dragon theme. 
Okay, so let's do this one more time, but instead of words, let's do the ticka tickas and the, well, the rhythm. Ticka tickas and the tts, and I think you might find a ta in there. Ticka ticka t t t t t t ticka ticka t t t t t t ticka ticka t t t t t t t t t t t t t ta. Ha! There's one ta at the very end. Very good. All right, that was great with our rhythms. Good review. We did over the quarter note, eighth note, um, half note, quarter rest, and sixteenth notes. All right. So let's review melody. Okay. Let's review it with a song that I'm sure you remember. If you don't, it's a really cool song. I think you'll like it. Great Big House. Here we go. Great Big House in New Orleans. 40 stories high. Every room that I've been in filled with pumpkin pie. Sing it with me. Great Big House in New Orleans. 40 stories high. Every room that I've been in filled with pumpkin pie. All right, let's go ahead and clap the rhythm while we sing it. Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. Every room that I've been in filled with pumpkin pie. This song starts on a me, so it's going to be our shoulders. So we have Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. Every room that I've been in, filled with pumpkin pie. Oh, do you hear that? Mi so mi re do. Try that. Mi so mi re do. Let's do that again with our body ladder, starting with me right on our shoulders. Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. Every room that I've been in, filled with pumpkin pie. Now let's do the same thing, but instead of using the words, let's use the do, mi, so, and la. Okay, we start on the mi. Here's our so. Here's our la. And remember that mi re do at the end. Okay, let's try it. Mi so so la mi so so mi so so la mi re mi so so la mi so so mi so mi re do. Let's try it with our hand signs. Remember, here's our do. Here's re. Mi, so, la. This is my last video of the day. My voice is starting to give out a little bit, but I need to get it done, so I'm going to persevere. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go ahead with our me. Here we go. Mi, so, so, la. Mi, so, so. Mi, so, so, la. Let's do that again. Mi so so la mi so so mi so so la mi re mi so so la mi so so mi so mi re do. All right, Whew. that was a lot of brain work for the second week of school, right? <laughs> Last week, I just gave you a video, a 55 second video to watch, and just make sure you know Flipgrid. Speaking of Flipgrid, this is your assignment for this week, is first of all, I need your parent or guardian to approve you using Flipgrid. The link to that is on the week in a glance chart. It's also under my week two assignments. There's a link there. Then click on that. Just put your name in. Say yes, they can use Flipgrid and uh, you're good to go. So once that's done, then I want you to record yourself. Now I only want you to make one recording. Okay. I don't want 
two recordings for the two different things. I want one recording with both. Um, this is not the time to use the recordings for Flipgrid to say hi to your friends or to be silly or goofy or show off, okay? That's not it. This is you turning in your assignments, okay, to me. And I do grade you on this, and that's important. So what you're going to do is the first assignment, you're going to uh, say your name. Remember how we did the uh, up the ladder? And they were going... My name is blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I want you to say the same thing, only using your name. Let's say your name is Lisa. You'll say, my name is Lisa. Okay, so then you're going to do it again. Same thing, but this time you're going to clap the rhythm while you say it. My name is Lisa. And then the third time, you're going to clap the rhythm, but you're not going to say it out loud. You can mouth it, but I don't want you saying it out loud. So you're just going to hear the clapping. Okay, so three things in a row, first speech only, then speech and clap, and then clapping only. Okay, so it'll look like this. My name is Lisa. My name is Lisa. Okay, all right, so let's say your name is um, Gregory. Okay, my son's name is Gregory. <laughs> and he would do this. My name is Gregory. My name is Gregory. Okay, that's the first assignment. Okay, it'll take you five seconds to do all that. Maybe eight seconds if you have a long name. <laughs> okay, the second thing is I want you to create an eight beat rhythm. Okay, and that eight beat rhythm has to have three different kinds of notes because I don't want you just going ta 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 okay that's very boring all right you need to add some different rhythms make it fun so we know you know the quarter note you know eighth notes ta's and tt's okay you also know rests okay that's three right there quarter notes eighth notes and rests or you can use a half note and then, of course, you can always use the ticka ticka. All right, so that's five you know. You only need to use three of them. All right, now for eight beats, that's exactly the same length we just did when we we're using these cards. Okay, here's one beat, one beat, one beat, one beat. There's four notes, but there's one beat, right? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so when we did the half note, it was still eight beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right? Or all these eighth notes with quarter notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? It's not eight notes, it's eight beats. Okay? That's the difference. All right? So figure out a rhythm with at least three. You want to use all five? Go for it. And then I want you to perform it right after you say your name. Again, same video, don't make a separate one. So you'll do your name and then you might go, T, T, T. <laughs> Let me try it again. You might go, T, 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 top, T, 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 Oh, I used four of them on that one. <laughs> okay, and that's it. It took me, what, five seconds to do that rhythm? But if you want to go the extra mile, go ahead and write down your rhythms on a paper you don't have to worry about the time signature or the bar line or the double bar line. You don't have to do any of that. But if you want to write down your notes, you can just use the stems if you'd like. Just draw a big capital Z for the rest if you want. Um, the only time you have to use the note heads is if you use a half note. Because a half note and a quarter note, the only difference is that the middle is not filled in. So if you just draw a stem without this part. I won't know it's a half note, so that's the only difference, okay? So that is your assignment, your name, three different ways. Clap and say your rhythm, and if you want to show me the rhythm, great. So just do that in one video. It'll be like 15 seconds long. That's all. You have a minute, but you don't need to use up a whole minute. Uh, realize I have 500 music students and I'm asking every one of them to submit a video. So if everyone took a whole minute, that would be 500 minutes of video I have to review. So if it's only 15 seconds, yay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so um, recorders. 
If you have a recorder, you can always go to my YouTube channel, Crafty Music Maker, and work on the songs with me on that channel. All right? Uh, we're not going to do recorders until this whole coronavirus thing is over. With recorders, we're blowing through instruments, and um, you know we have each one have your own, so that's not a problem. But just, I mean, we have to. You can't put a mask on a recorder. How silly would that be, right? But you certainly can play a recorder at home if you have one. If you need to go out and buy one, um, please just don't get the cheap ones from Dollar Tree or Dollar Store. If they're a dollar, they're probably not a really good one, and they'll squeak more and drive your parents more crazy. All right. And so uh, I think uh, we're going to do a new set of composers. You've already done two sets with me. This will be your last set. And uh, we'll start those in a couple weeks. Not a big hurry for that. All right, then. Good job. Turn in your flip grid performance, and I will see you next time. Bye.